we were praying so hard for this job to come, and then our prayers got altered. Suddenly it became, okay, if it's not time for that, what do you want us to learn? And we felt pretty certain that he was saying, there is a plan for you. Hold on. I have something in store. So we decided to look for the light in life. Our goal became, and we really talked about this, how can we see his hand every single day? It became about this. Even something as simple as making dinner together as a family. And I'll tell you what, we were making it using food storage cans. But we were doing it together. And it ended up going on for just shy of two years. It sounds silly to say out loud, but something as small as eating food storage and not being able to go to the grocery store and buy fresh milk, fresh produce, makes you feel like you're nothing compared to the people around you. You ache for it. Just some fresh grapes to give your daughter for lunch. But I've got a dang good husband. Can you say dang it, time out for women? <laughs> it's already happened. <laughs> um, Cade came to me and said that, hey, remember that one time when we made $100? What if we started doing something with the blog? Let's post more and see if we can get that money coming in more regularly and we could actually buy groceries again. And trust me, we were desperate. We were willing to try anything. And we did. We poured our whole heart, our souls, our time, our sweat and tears into actually making something of this. And 10 times the prayers happened, asking our direction in our posts and creations. And that's where it grew into the Oh Sweet Basil experience for us that has changed our path forever. To finish up that scripture that Cade read, Exodus 10, 22 to 23, it says, And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Now, isn't that life? I bet I could ask you to raise your hands if you have ever felt a trial that you physically feel. Not just going through something that hurts your spirit, but you feel it. I know I'm not alone in saying that, but what beautiful hope. You can have light in your dwellings, even amidst the darkness. And even more than that, you can invite others to partake in that light, you can share with them how to have it in their own dwellings.